I hope you can hear me. Word is you've been captured by Strangelove. I'm guessing they confiscated your gear, but I know you've still got something left. Search your memory, Snake. I didn't defect. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? Your mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. Rise and shine. Coldman's greed does not concern me. I'm only interested in one thing. The truth. I'm a scientist, an AI developer. But not an AI myself. I'm a scientist, and as a scientist, I find this distasteful. You understand? I am a scientist, and I expect answers that make sense. Now, what do you know? Your boss defected from the U.S. taking a Davy Crockett with her, and used it to launch a nuclear strike on Soviet territory. That much I know from the CIA's official debriefing. Did she defect or not? Answer me! Did she or did she not die for her country? She sold us out. My orders were to take care of her. Liar! I want to know the truth! Brace yourself. <laughs> I know that, but what I don't know is your motive. Why would a hero, loyal to the end, betray her country? What really happened? What did you see? She betrayed more than just her country. She betrayed me, too. Then how do you explain that bandana? Why keep a memento of a traitor? What are you talking about? And what about that scar? Don't tell me you have the same scars by sheer coincidence. Don't touch me! Hmm. Decorating your body with her memory. Rather effeminate, if you ask me. <sighs> Answer me! <clears throat> <clears throat> Sacrificed her life for America, didn't she? Sacrificed all for a country that cared nothing for her soul or for her dignity. And you... <clears throat> yes, I do hate you. But even you must understand how I feel. I have a right to know what she died for. Why won't you tell me? You're no longer one of Washington's lapdogs. You have no moral obligation to your country. Answer me! Would you see your beloved boss brought back to life? Then say it. Say she died for America. That she remained true to the end. Gave her life for the country that betrayed her time and again. No. That woman... Who was a traitor? Why? For what purpose? She went to her grave, cursing her country. Why? Who is 
is it? What are you protecting? I'm not helping you finish that thing. Face it. The boss is dead. Whatever's inside that machine, it is her. I'm raising the voltage. The next one might kill you! <laughs> again <coughs> sorry hey you okay yeah my lungs taste like charcoal no smoking for you for a while huh uh, i'll be fine i better get moving nice work what's the situation with you everyone okay yeah but there's a slight problem i can't get a hold of pause pause i thought the professor was looking after her so did i here's the deal I started thinking, and I sent someone over to the school the professor mentioned. <sighs> and the school doesn't exist. No, it exists, but Paz has been a no-show. The person at the school said neither the professor nor Paz had been seen there in quite some time. Coleman knew about us. We've been marked by the CIA. The KGB and Paz brought us into all this. Coleman must know about them, too. You think Coleman's got them? No. Remember, Galvez isn't some pencil pusher. Yeah, the KGB will have eyes on Coleman night and day, too. Which could mean they knew what the CIA would try to do and are just staying out of sight. Let's hope so. See what you can get out of the KGB, Kaz. All right, back to work. I better get moving. Snake, we haven't detected any signs that Peace Walker's been activated. At least from above ground. It's still in the hangar you were in earlier. This time, it's really our last chance. Destroy that AI. On my way. <laughs> 